Welcome back to Train Ahead. Today I'm joined by my guest, Kim Pham, and we'll be reviewing the Jordan 1's Satin Black Toes. There is limited history on these, but I can say these were released in June 2019. A very highly anticipated trainer. Everybody wanted these. Everyone. Everybody. Especially because of the limited sizing as well, it only went up to a UK 10 because it is a women's silhouette. Men are out here squeezing feet into these. Trust me, I've seen This is the third pair of Jordan 1s that has the satin material on them. It's obviously in the iconic black toe colorway, but remixed with the satin for the ladies. Very sleek. The only two parts that's actually satin on this is the heel where it's red and the inside here where the ankle support is so it's quite nice that you can see a little bit of black satin at the top when you're rocking them and then that and then you've got the metal medallion which is a nice sleek add-on to it a bit different than it just being printed red undersole white here original lacing and original tongue as well you know, like I just like the extra detail they've done with the satin. Um, it's it's more for the ladies, so I'm loving that Jordan is catering to the ladies now, especially with the added metal there. We want more. We want more, definitely. So although I don't have these ones, after trying them on, they were comfortable, but I would advise getting a size up. half a whole. I got a half size up. Others with more wider feet may want to get a full okay. size up. Yeah. For me, I mean, I rock Jordan ones on almost a daily basis, and really, they're not that comfortable for me. Some of them, I mean, the GS sizes are a lot less comfortable than the women. So the women's I can rock all day, but the GS not 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 so much. But these, I could wear them all day. But what about sizing up, down, same size? Women's true to size. True to so size. So these, if you're going for these. True to size, so whatever your size is, get these. So these were retailed at £135. Mm -hmm. If you manage to get your hands on them. Too limited to get your yeah. hands on. But resale now triple is a lot. And they're dead stock now, so they're very expensive for resale. Despite me loving these, and I mean loving them, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. And do you wanna know why? Why? Because I kinda really wished that they had satin on the front yeah, as well. Yeah, I agree. I think the leather, like, black, like satin black toe, without having... You think the black toe... A black satin toe. Has satin? That's the only, yeah, so that's me being picky. The price, I think, is amazing. Um, I think the design is great, apart from this not being satin. Stylish, comfortable, it's a win. Yeah. For me, my overall rating, I'm going to give it a four out of five as well. As much as I love them, and they are my special shoe when I rock them, <laughs> I agree, like that should have been satin. There should definitely be a lot more satin in that. And it's a, it's, you know, it's a Jordan 1. So, Iconic. Four, 4 or 5. Yeah. yeah, 5 out of 5 is extreme. So I'm just going to give it a nice 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Comment down below what trainers you want us to review, and we might come to a store near you. I've been Ree, and this has been my amazing co-host. Thank you, Kim Fam. Kim Fam underscore like yo fam, but with a P H. And follow us on the socials at Trainer Heads with a Z. You've been amazing. Peace. Thank you.